I was playing with ESP8266 from a very long time. So I thought it's a time for an upgrade. That's why I bought a ESP32 board. So in this video we are gonna test how good is it and how to use this. So let's do this. If you will compare ESP32 with ESP8266, you will find ESP32 is too good because first of all it's a dual core MCU, it got higher frequency, it got temperature sensor, touch sensor and hall sensor inbuilt and much more. So it is too good than a ESP8266. So firstly, let's quickly solder the pin headers and then we will install this board on Arduino IDE. Now quickly download and install latest version of Arduino IDE and make sure you are not installing it in program folder. Make sure you are installing it in users folder otherwise it will not permit the installation of ESP32 boards. Quickly download python 2.7 and install it and make sure you have checked add python.exe to the path. It is very important. Make sure you have installed git on your PC. So go to program files, open the git folder, then open the cmd folder. There you will find git gui.exe. Open that exe. Open the ESP32 GitHub web page, copy the source location, paste this source location into the software, then browse for the folder where you have installed the Arduino and inside that select hardware folder then type backspace espressif backslash esp32 and hit clone to clone the repository after that it will start cloning the repository so you have to be patient because this gonna take a couple of minutes and when it is done you will get the message ready on the screen now open the folder where you have installed Arduino open Arduino then open hardware then open Espressif, then open ESP32, then open tools, you will find get.exe, run get.exe. After that a CMD window will pop up and all you need to do is to wait until ESP tool gets installed and when done window will be closed automatically. Now open the Arduino ID, go to boards and scroll down there you will find ESP32 boards appeared. So you have successfully installed ESP32 boards. Now mine is VMOS LOLIN32 board so I am gonna select VMOS LOLIN32 board. Now go to examples. You will find various examples for your board. So for now I am gonna try blinker example. For my board the inbuilt LED is on pin 22. So I am gonna change 21 to the 22. Now go to tools, select your board, select your port and other settings and then hit upload. And after that it will take a couple of seconds and when the uploading is done you will get a message then uploading. And if you did everything correct your LED will be blinking as mine is blinking in the video. Now let's try one more example. We are gonna try touch sensor of the ESP32. So we are gonna upload touch read code to it. So let's hit upload. Now connect a jumper to the pin 4 of the ESP32 to sense the touch. To see the touch read value, now open the serial monitor. As you can see I am not touching the wire. So it is showing the maximum value 126 on the serial monitor. And when I am touching it, you can see the values start to drop. That means it is sensing some touch. So guys, I think that's all for the today. Try remaining examples in the library and have fun. Till then, like, share and learn. I'll be right back with more ESP32 projects and keep supporting me. And have anything, let me know in the comment section.